Hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today what I'm going to be looking at is a video that I have promised to do for ages. So I'm going to have to start with an apology because this video has taken a lot longer than it should have to, for me to make. So today what I'm going to be looking at is how to print our photo speed photo cards using Lightroom. Now it's a really easy kind of, kind of process. It's only like one or two sliders at the very most. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into Lightroom and have a look at how we go about printing these photo cards through Lightroom and using Lightroom's print module. But as always, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget the voucher code, the 15% discount code, which is FSYouTube15. And you can use that on the PhotoSpeed website to get 15% off all PhotoSpeed papers. Okay, so let's dive into Lightroom and get printing some photo cards. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. As you can see, I've actually got a card already set up here. Now I have put these templates on the website for you to use as well and you can just add them to your user templates in your template browser in Lightroom here on the left hand side here. Now they are really simple to set up so I am just going to show you how to set up one or two of them but it's the same process for each of them. First thing we need to do is decide on which card we're printing on. So let's do the A5 card first, which is an A4 sheet in total. So I'm just going to click on Page Setup, and I'm going to select my printer, which is the Pro 1000 here, and I'm just going to go up and I'm going to select A4, and I'm going to select A4 borderless because I want to do it from edge to edge. Now I'm just going to click OK and my page size will change. So this is an A4 sheet here. So I'm just going to start by zeroing everything and putting my cell size up to maximum. So I've got a full page borderless print on A4. Okay, so I need to divide this in half so when we fold the card, the picture is on the front of the card and then we have a blank page on the back. The easiest way to do this is use our page grid tool in Lightroom and just pop up the row to two. And there you have your borderless card. Now, if you wanted to add a border around this print here, so say I would like a five millimeter border. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in five millimeter margin all the way down. And then within the cell spacing as well, I'm just gonna put in five mil in there as well. And then that will give me my lovely even border all the way around the outside. Now, it's as easy as that in Lightroom, really nice and simple. But let's go back to the five by five card, say, and I'll just show you how I do that. So in page setup, I'm just gonna go down to manage custom sizes, or if you're on a window system, it's user defined. And in here, I'm just gonna select a new paper type in here, or a new page size, should I say. And I'm just gonna call it a five by five, oh, five by five photo cards. And then what I can do is I'm just gonna set the width and height in here. Now what we need to do is just pop in the millimeter sizes of this. So 10 inches, which is the full size. So the five by five card is 10 inches by five inches. So 10 inches is 54 millimeters. And the five inches is 127 millimeters. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zero all these margins in here as well. Then I'm just gonna click okay. And now we have our size there. You can see actually it's done a pretty good job already putting it in the card, but it would be the same process. Let me just zero all these so I can take you through the process. So once I've got my full page bleed here, all we do, page grids up to two, and then that will give us the perfect divide down the middle. And again, if we wanted to add a margin in here, I'm just gonna put a five mil margin all the way around. And then 
then don't forget to put in the cell spacing as well because that's really important that it will do that for you just to make it nice and even on the fold down here. So there we have how to make photo cards in Lightroom. Now this process is the same also for the A6 cards and also the I3 cards as well. All we have to do is put our page grid up to two and it will divide it for us. Now with the I3 cards, let me just do that one for you. Now it's an A5 size, so we just need to select A5 and we've got our picture here. You'll notice that actually this is the A6 card. Now, if we wanted to turn this into the I3, the landscape card, what we need to do, instead of putting the row up to two, put that back down, we just need to put the columns up to two. And then we will have our I3 card in here. We'll put a little bit of a margin round as well. And that is how we would print that card as well. So all we need to do is just put in a page grid. Okay, well, I hope that's been useful. And I hope that that's gonna help you to print your photo cards through Lightroom. Like I said, I'm gonna have these templates added to the website as well. So they should be up as soon as this video has gone live, they should be there to download as well. Now, any problems as always, please let us know. And also please don't forget to subscribe. And also please don't forget that voucher, that FS YouTube 15 voucher to get 15% off Photospeed papers on photospeed.com. So thank you for watching. Bit of a quick video this, a little bit of a bonus one, shall we say, but I hope that's helped you. And like I said, please put comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.